Tony Hayward is watching the Top Kill operation very closely as the CEO of BP. He's the man at the center of the storm, and he joins us live this morning from Houston. Mr. Hayward, good morning. Good morning, Maggie. I know that you halted the Top Kill operation for a while yesterday to assess the progress and make some adjustments. What did that assessment find? Is it working? And if so, when will you begin the second phase of this, which is sending cement down that pipe to seal the yeah. well? So the top kill is proceeding broadly in line with our plan. Uh, the first phase was to pump heavyweight mud into the well bore to try and overcome the flow of the well bore. Uh, the second phase, which we began yesterday afternoon, was to pump, pump loss control material into the blowout preventer to try and create a bridge in the blowout preventer against which we could pump. That part of the operation was completed in the early hours of this morning. Okay. It appears to have been partially successful. And this, the next phase we will begin later today when we will go back to pumping mud. So what we've done is demonstrated that the technology, which has never been used a mile beneath the seabed, is working. We've learnt a lot about the pressure in the blowout preventer and the pressure in the well, and we are continuing to execute the program as planned. I believe it will be around 48 hours before we'll have clarity as to whether or not it has been successful. Clearly, I am as anxious as everyone in America is to get this thing done. So by 48 hours from now, you estimate that the entire process, including the more complicated uh, step of bringing cement that, as we all know, hardens down that pipe, all of that will have been completed. And no. in two days, we will know if this has been successful. No, Maggie. I said that the, the plan, the program of mud pumping would probably take another couple of days. Oh. At that point, we will know whether or not we can place cement. And at that point, we'll have greater confidence than we have today that the whole thing is going to work. Uh, nothing has gone wrong so far. Our confidence remains around 60 or 70 percent. But because this is completely untested and we're learning as we go, we need to recognize those facts, I'm afraid. I, I wish, I really wish it was different. I really do. But it's not, I'm afraid. Yesterday, uh, President Obama, as the chief executive of this country, says that he takes full responsibility for the government's failures in this. You, as the chief executive of BP, now that this has exceeded the Exxon Valdez as the worst oil disaster in American history, can you please tell us, tell the American people, what specifically you take responsibility for? I take full responsibility working for the federal agencies to do everything we can to eliminate the leak as fast as we can and clean up the oil. And BP is but committed... But do you take full I... responsibility for causing this, is what we uh, have not heard? Uh, well, I, I think it's self-evident that we are... Uh, uh, we, we cause this. I mean, we've said all along that this is our responsibility and we are taking it very seriously. We have thrown everything at this to try and do everything we can to eliminate the leak, to contain the oil on the surface, and to defend the shoreline. Uh -huh. And a, a cup of oil on the beach is failure, as far as I'm concerned. Well, no one disagrees with that. Tony Hayward, thank you, sir. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.